Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're taking an absolute aerial hoop classic, which is the cradle, and I'm gonna teach you three different transitions out of it into other moves. One of them's a roll, one of them's a split, and one of, of them's course, a push away where you can have get really creative and in your back pocket. But what I also hope you'll get from this type of video, learning different options, is how to think a little bit laterally and how to think about what your options are for moving and transitioning out of any move. But first I'll ask you to please take a moment to subscribe to this channel because it is very, very helpful to me in that it helps the YouTube algorithm promote this channel. But it's also helpful to you guys because then you won't miss any of the tutorials that I do every week over here and all the new videos that are coming out all the time. So please do take a minute to subscribe and to like this video. Okay, moving on, we're gonna just take a quick reminder of the easiest way to transition to a cradle, which is to take one leg out the back of your hoop, leaving your front leg in, place the opposite shoulder from your front leg against the side of the hoop, and that's pretty much it. You're there in your cradle already. Okay, now you're in your cradle, we're gonna learn our first transition, which is to pocket roll forward out of your cradle into a Delilah. Starting from your cradle, you're going to place your hands in front of you, with your palms facing each other. This is kind of like you're gonna clap your hands. If you don't have your palms facing each other, this is not gonna work out for you. Next, you're gonna grab the hoop in the space between your body and your leg. The hand of the leg that is on the hoop should be closer to that leg and farther away from your torso. You should also have one hand on each side of the hoop. That's why your hands need to be facing each other. When you're ready, roll forward, keeping that leg that is hooked on the hoop nice and bent. The more bent that knee is, the easier it's gonna to be to hook on the bottom as you naturally come into your Delilah. And from there, you can switch your hands around. You can do whatever kind of position you want. This one does look more complicated than it is. If you keep that leg bent and you roll forward, keeping your hands in the right position, you'll kind of naturally end up in this Delilah. Okay, next up we're going to go from cradle into a mermaid and if you want a mermaid split. This is one of those splits that's going to look very, very bendy, but actually you can cheat it by pulling your leg to the side. Starting again from your cradle, you're going to reach up with the same arm as the leg that is hooked on the hoop and take the top of the hoop close to the span set, but on the opposite side from your body. Next, you're gonna slide your shoulder out the back of the hoop. The hoop is gonna do a half turn away from you as you reach backwards with your free arm. And it was super windy the day I was filming this, which you can see in this video. Look at that dust flying. Anyway, once you're in that mermaid position with one leg bent on the bottom, if you want, you can reach down, grab your foot, and pull it into a split. Again, it was the windiest day ever. That's why all of my cardboard that protects my feet uh, is just flying around. Anyway, this transition is pretty simple if you're not in the middle of a tornado. If you place your hand in the right spot and if you let the hoop move the way it naturally wants to, you'll kind of end up in the right position naturally. Here's that one one more time without the massive windstorm. I place my hand, I slide my shoulder out, the hoop does a half turn around me, and I should have the bottom of the hoop high up on my back thigh in that mermaid position. I can do this split if I want. Okay, finally we're gonna do this push away split, but it doesn't have to be a split. It can be push away cross legs, it can be pushed away free leg, moving your leg around. Anything you wanna do here is possible with that free leg. You have a lot of freedom to play around and find different positions. I'm gonna do a split, and then I'm also gonna bring my leg around, cross it over for this nice little seated position before I come back into the hoop. All right, for this one, we're starting once again in your cradle. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> I'm gonna reach up with both arms and place them on the top of the hoop about shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Notice that I have my palms facing different directions. That just makes it easier for me to grab the hoop smoothly. From there, I'm going to slide my shoulder out the back of the hoop, lean my shoulders back, and slide the bottom of the hoop down my front leg towards my knee. I lift up my free bottom leg, place the middle of my foot on the bottom bar of the hoop, and slide out my top leg completely. I'm bringing it around behind me to start off by doing this little bent knee sort of half split shape and then I straighten out into a full split. If you're trying to do a full split, remember that you have to use your bum muscles to lift that back leg 
if you're not lifting the back leg, it's not gonna look like a split. And then I'm also doing this fun little circle around and cross my legs over each other shape. This is just a nice little variation, but like I said, you can do whatever you want with that back leg. It is totally free and there's a lot of interesting options. You could even turn your body and the hips to the side to do kind of a straddle shape if you wanted to. When I'm done, I'm bringing my leg back through the center of the hoop and coming into a seated position. And there you go. There are three different options for continuing on your choreography after a cradle. And I hope that these three will be useful to you, but I also really hope that this has helped you think about different options. You don't always have to do the same moves following each other because you know what that transition is. You can really be creative and create your own choreography and your own transitions. And that's what's gonna really take you to the next step forward in your aerial training. If you enjoyed this video, then please, please do take a minute to subscribe and to like videos because it is immensely helpful for me and I very much appreciate it. And with that, I will see you guys next time.